it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Hi, welcome to Just Keep It Simple. Good afternoon to you. Today I want to share with you a conophytum shading process. When you get your conophytum, uh, normally they look perfect like this. This is a calculus, yeah. Then when the shading process takes place, uh, almost year end to beginning of the year, and it takes a few months. Then the second process, uh, the perfect version of a conophytum. And then the shading will take place. The initial part, you will see uh, wrinkled skin like this. And you can actually tell that this skin is the outer layer that is wrinkling and not part of the, the perfect looking conophyllum that is wrinkling that is in need of water. If you see this, they are taking their first stage of wrinkling, okay? Or should I say shedding? So this is the time where you stop your watering. Eventually, it will look like this. Like it's completely dry. And slowly, it will take place for the whole entire chronophyton. Okay. Then, there are other signs that you can actually look at is when it starts to turn a bit yellowish yellowish and dryness on the side wrinkling dryness on the side yeah to turn a bit yellowish don't confuse yourself with uh, underwatering yeah then it becomes like this it takes few months sometimes a month sometimes two months depending on the condition that we are giving them this one here. Um, I'm wearing latex, yeah, uh, to protect my fingers. Because these are small plants, I prefer to wear uh, finger latex instead. So this is how it looks like. And from this stage, where it starts wrinkling to this, and then yellowish, and it becomes really dry. And some say it's dead, they would throw it away. But no, it's actually the shading process. Do not water during this period of time. Okay, until they fully shed back to this. And you can do a deep watering. Yeah, deep watering is where you put the whole pot in the, a bowl of water and let it sip up to the soil and then have a fan blowing it because in Malaysia it's really hot and sometimes the soil don't dry as fast and also your soil media uh, I'm using about um, for conophytum because their roots are really fine so I'm using about 70% peat moss soil or you can use your organic uh, black soil and then the 30% are vermiculite and perlite uh, and perhaps some uh, gritty stones in the 30% as well but uh, for now I seldom use any other gritty stone because the roots are really really fine yeah conophytums are small species yeah but these can grow up to two to three centimeter in eight years yeah ten years yeah they do for calculus yeah but they generally generally they are small species yeah. so that's why uh, uh, this is a very unique plant to begin with okay this is dry and if you want to wait you can wait all the way till it's completely dry uh, I can show you one here when it's completely dry when it's completely dry it looks like this and it crushes you can actually crush it and you hear a crack sound and you can slowly tear it apart yeah like this okay i normally don't tear all the way down 
for any of my corner phytum. I'll leave a skin here, maybe to the half point here, so that it holds the corner phytum. While there is still nutrients coming through though, and then you know, it actually holds well when you leave half the skin instead of uh, tearing it all the way down or so called cleaning it all the way down. It does hold the form of the conophytum. Initially, this conophytum uh, was a single head. How conophytum grow is from a single head. After they shed, they might go back to single or they might go to twin heads. Sometimes it goes triple. And eventually, more and more heads will shed out from each year. And that's where it becomes a cluster. This is a seed pot. You don't have to immediately pull it out. Um, after it completely shed, leave it for a month or two when it's completely dry. And you use a tweezer and pull. It should easily come off and that's ready. For you to keep the seed pot and for seed pot yeah um, it's not easy to germinate in Malaysia because of a high temperature they do need a good temperature of 25 degree and below yeah um, therefore germination of seed for lip tops or conophytum in Malaysia is pretty challenging yeah unless you have uh, a space where you do uh, control your temperature to 25 degree and below. Uh, nevertheless, um, back to the seed pot. After a month, you should be able to pull this out easily. Yeah, give you a try and you pull it out easy and you keep it. Yeah, you can try germinating your seed pots for your lip tops and your cone of items. Yeah, some do succeed, but um, again, they do need low temperature for germination. So this is how it looks like. So now I'm going to try to see if I could uh, show you. What I do is I find spots like this where you have a, a thick part that is wrinkling. I put my tweezer here. Yeah. And slowly peel it off. You have to be gentle. And if you are not familiar with uh, sharp tweezer, this sharp tweezer, oh, I think it's ESD11. You can go with something more blunt. You can go with something more blunt like this. You can see the difference. This is sharp. Because I'm used to the sharp one. But if you're not comfortable and you're scared you injured your uh, corner phytum, use a blunt one. Slowly find creeds like this. It is <laughs> beautiful lips. And then, you know, you can trim all the roots away. Um, I actually did the trimming. Um, same thing that you trim lip tops, yeah. I, I prefer to trim it more short because it actually grows better when you trim it a bit more short. I remove the soil from here and then I, I trim it down. I trim it down. I do trim it down. You see, this is the previous skin. Previous skin. <laughs> and, and they will grow sometimes, you know. This is not the current dry skin. So anyways, I'm, I'm going to just remove it out. If you find it hard to pull, 
don't don't force it through yeah just give it take a season and then just give it a cut okay don't pull it's such a cutie right <laughs> I'd like to show you um, Conophyta Mayori Conophyta Mayori uh, I have this in the pot I have this in the pot and they are shedding so this is how it looks like when they are shedding there is a few good stage here that you can refer to yeah so they will turn dry at the outer skin and slowly becomes yellow and orangey and you leave it be don't water them and they sometimes do split to the side especially um uh, Conophyta mayori bilabum they do break to the side during their shading but some of them just dry all the way while enclosed the new baby inside you will feel when you press you'll feel a baby inside yeah it's not dry yet i'm holding it tight i'm giving it a good press the skin is not dry yet so i'm just going to leave it be yeah so don't water when you see signs of um, shading okay and you just leave it be here all right so that's what i want to share today with you uh, on conophytum shading and i hope you enjoy the video yeah uh, if you have not subscribed to uh, just keep it simple or in short we call it just kiss uh, do subscribe so you know when there's new videos that we share you can actually uh, see it with a notification to you follow our follow our youtube subscribe to it and give me a thumbs up thank you very much if you have any questions uh, just drop us a message and i'll get back to you as soon as i can bye